Dusty, what, if anything, did you notice about Coda uh, tonight? Well, you know, he's getting the ball up. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, afterwards he said he, he admitted he should have told me or us before the game, you know. He said his back was, was, was really locked up. You know, we didn't know it, so uh, I don't know. He's he's frustrated, and we're frustrated. <clears throat> you know, because we can't we can't keep him healthy at 100 percent right now, and, uh, and we don't know why. You ever had that before? Is that the first you've heard of any back? No, it's just been a it's been a variety of different things. I know it's quick, but initially, do you think that could sideline him for a bit here? Or? Oh, I don't know, because we're we're in this long streak, and we need everybody we can, you know, we can uh, have. So we got to go back and reassess the situation, and then, uh, you know, it's not a very pleasant situation. So we just have to reassess it and uh, try to come up with some answers. So was Zim available to you today? No, no. I mean. What? If he'd have been available, he'd have been playing against the lefty today, you know. And uh, if he was available, he'd have been hitting against, you know, the lefty or the runner on third. So um, I don't know if he's he wasn't available today, no. And he uh, and then he's questionable for tomorrow. What is he dealing with? Hmm? What is him dealing with? Well, he, you know, he dove for a ball, I think, in L.A. And uh, you know, it was his his back. You know, locked up on him. They've been working on him, and so, um, you know, that's what he's dealing with. Uh, that throw from Bryce there uh, in the ninth inning to yeah. keep that game tied. What's what's the most impressive part of that play from your perspective? Well, you know how you get behind the ball. You get behind the ball. You're tied as an outfielder. He did it perfectly. You get behind the ball, and you get your momentum going toward the target, which is home plate, and. Uh, you know, that was an outstanding throw, and uh, it was a good tag by Lobaton Bolt. Was that a called safety squeeze there with, with Trey, or was it? No, you don't safety squeeze with two outs. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, okay, Defoe so how are you going to ask me? Did well, I call uh, you never know, that's why I asked Come on, man. <laughs> but, with Defoe, but with Defoe there, does he have to take off and go if he's? Well, I mean, that's a, that's a tough read, but if you're going to go, you got to go, especially against a left-hander. You know, he got to turn and throw. Might hit you, you know. Might throw wild, and uh, you really don't accomplish anything by stopping. And so, uh, like I said, if you're going to go, then you go. You know, because that was, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, Trey saw the third baseman back, and uh, you know, it wasn't a bad bunt, but the, uh, but the pitcher, you know, responded, got off the mound quickly, and uh, he could have thrown the first, but you know, he looked at Defoe, who was right in front of him, and. Like I said, you either got to go or you got to stay. When you look at, uh, you had the three-run inning, but then uh, the one before that, uh, your bases loaded, you don't get anything, some missed opportunities. Yeah, there. I mean, that hurts. I mean, when you got bases loaded, got a chance to break the game open, um, and, and you don't get anything. But, you know, you got the eighth and ninth hitter up, and, um, you know, uh, we had the wrong guys up. With Sean Kelly, when he struggles, it seems like it's mostly giving up the long ball. Is there anything in particular you see well I, I, I mean if I you know if I knew I'd have stopped a long time ago so um, like I said we just got to go back to the drawing board on on the whole thing that was a shame because you know lost in the in the defeat was a was the job that Gio did he, he did an outstanding job this team is better against left-handers and I mean right-handers and left-handers and uh, you know he proved why